ay naangwala. Uh, start na po kami. Oh yes, oo. Oh. Hello po. Ako po si Nina at ako sa mga po si Mota. Nire-report po namin ang constructing project plan. Hindi po start na po. Ninyo apostol? apostol Ninyo timado po man. Timado mo. Timado. Yes. Construct project plan. Uh, our topic is uh, demonstrate resourcefulness and management skills in the use of time, materials, money, and effort. And also construct project plan considers deliberate policies on sustainable development in contracting the project plan. And also the refined product based on assessment made. Next one. Uh, anytime we start a project, it's important to have a plan in place to accomplish it. Uh, we, know, we all know that uh, before we uh, we think a project plan, uh, we need to do a, a project plan paper uh, para uh, may pacheck natin to sa mga namumuno or sa mga organization natin kung uh, maganda ba or uh, sulit ba tong gagawing plan or marami bang matutulungan ganun. And whether it's a new construction or renovation, restoration, or rebuilding, a uh, well-developed construction project plan, also known as a construction management plan or CMP, is essential for successful completion on schedule and within a budget. All right, next one. Uh, in uh, considers deliberate policies on sustainable development in constructing the project plan. Next part. So part na to, uh, why, why do we need to construct a project plan? Uh, first, project planning is essential in making and implementing a project that we desire. Second, starting a project requires careful planning on what to prepare, on how to do it, and what to do with the finished product. Siyempre, uh, uh, dapat may step-by-step step bago tayo gumawa ng project plan, hindi yung uh, sige lang ng sige, yung uh, hindi natin pinag-isipan, wala man lang uh, methods or an pagkakasunod kung anong ulit gagawin para mas uh, maging malinis yung project plan natin, dapat may step-by-step. And last, it enables you to organize your ideas, save time, money, and effort. Ayun nga, uh, mas organize siya pag tayo may, uh, may plan or may project plan. Organize siya, hindi siya uh, medyo maano sa oras and money at also effort. Uh, yun, nakakasave ka para makagawa ka pa ng ibang mga gagawin. Ayun, next pa. A project plan is a formal document designed to guide in the execution of a project. It must be prepared before starting because it serves as the key to a successful project. Ayun nga, uh, medyo ito parang yung magiging guide mo. Kumbaga, pag naging teacher tayo, hindi tayo basta turo ng turo. Uh, Siyempre, may uh, plan din tayo, yan, lesson plan. Then, bago natin yun ituro, need muna i-check ng nakakataas sa atin or principal, ganun, para uh, if tama naman yung plan natin, ayun, 
pwede na natin siyang ituro uh, in the future. Next po. A project, uh, parts of a project plan, uh, this will be all the project component, which is indicates the owner of the project. Uh, ito, mas important ito kasi kung uh, we need uh, like uh, sino gumawa nito, sino nag uh, sino nag-propose, sino, nag yes, sino, na sino may ari, sino nag-propose, gano'n. Para, uh, which is pag ginaya din ng iba, may ano, may ano uh, sila parang hindi nila isama yung pinaka-original na may ari. Ayun, uh, sa project title, tells what the project is all about. Ito yung pinaka-importante kasi uh, if we don't uh, add this project title, hindi nila maintindihan kung ano yung purpose ng ano mo, kung si kanino ba para yung project mo or sino ba matutulungan yan. Ganun. Kaya important ang project title. And also project objectives. Tell the purpose of the project. Uh, also, the objectives is important. Uh, alam naman natin, sa una, pati sa lesson plan, objectives is important. Uh, how we execute our uh, teaching or uh, paano natin may tuturo ng tama or paano para maintindihan ng mga bata yung mga ituturo natin ano yung mga methods natin ayan yeah and, and also yung objectives it must be smart ah smart it must be huh? specific measurable attainable time bound at sa uh, at sa uh, attainable and time bound no so kagaya yung sinabi mo dun sa ano sa una di pa kailangan ano uh, kailangan matapos natin sa tamang tamang ano schedule no? yes po okay uh, also working drawing shows the scale drawing of an object to be made or structure to be built intended for direct use by the workman uh, we all know then uh, uh, kapag yung mga plan natin may mga drawing may mga yeah, parang sketch. pagkasunod-sunod sketching tama uh, kung ano yung magiging uh, outcome ng project natin. Like, uh, we said that uh, uh, yung plan natin is renovation. Anan, kunwari, yung barangay, low mana. Uh, ano yung magiging itsura ng barangay after ng project? Ayan. And also, bill of materials. Tells the materials to be used. This part contains the unit quantity, description, the unit price, and the total cost for every item. Then, dito, yung mga sa, at, sa ating lugar, kung bibili ng mga materials pag nagtatay ng mga uh, anong building, binubusisi nila na yung uh, materials is quality, tas uh, medyo ano siya, affordable, pero uh, hindi siya makaka hindi siya agad masisira ganun uh, basta for the bulk sa then may quality yes may quality po siya kaya mahalaga yung uh, tinitingnan natin yung kalidad ng isang materials bago natin to gamitin kasi tayo rin yung maano ma kunwari uh, one week lang natin magagamit kung ano man yung mga gamit na yan kaya need natin i-check kung approve ba ng mga uh, may mga DTI, mga ganyan. At saka mm -hmm. isa pa, no, uh, we have to canvas, canvas this, ano, bill of materials, no? Kailangan mm -hmm. marami yung pagpilian kung saan yes. yung mura at saka may kalidad na, ano, mm -hmm. na materials. Yes, tama. Kasi marami naman magkakompetensya ng mga pilihan ng materials, kaya hindi ka mawawalan ng uh, pagpipilian kung saan ka mas uh, makakamura at so, maganda yung kalidad. Next one. And also, resourcefulness and management skills in the use of the following. So, yun, uh, in the project plan, ito yung pinakamalaga yung time kasi once na naubos na to, hindi mo na to may babalik. Uh, sabi nga nila, time is gold, di ba? Kaya we need to use the time uh, like uh, bawat patak na minuto or, or segundo ay mahalaga. And time management is essentially the ability to organize and plan the time spent on activities in a day. So, ayun, pati sa pagtuturo, di ba, bawat uh, 
uh, subject, may oras yan. Like, 1 hour and 30 minutes, dapat na-execute mo yung ano mo, yung pagtuturo mo, yung lesson na yun, sa araw na yun, then need mo masunod yun para hindi ka mahirapan na maghabol for, uh, kasi pag next day, di mo pa natapos yung kahapon mo, idadagdag mo na naman siya sa, like, tinuro mo Martes, ay, Mar- or Lunes, uh, di mo siya natapos, then itutuloy mo na naman siya sa Tuesday, then panibagong, ano naman, hindi nasunod na yung plan mo. Kaya, need ng time management, and also, it increases effectiveness and productivity. So, ayun, uh, kahit uh, na ituturo mo, or yung, yung time mo na gagamit mo, need mo, uh, need mo, ma, ano, ma, dapat yung pagtuturo effectiveness and hindi lang nasasayang dapat more productivity may pa yung may, oo. at saka may nakukuha dun sa topic na dinidiscuss mo kung talagang naging effective ang ano mo yung turo mo kailangan 100% no of the class attain yung ano yung passing grade dun sa ano sa binibigay mong examination so if if almost no or if almost everybody understood the lesson then in your case uh, all of them pass understood that there is effectiveness and productivity in your lesson no? yes so, ganun din yung ano yung pagbi-build ng ano ng project ninyo, kailangan may quality and productivity. So, yung, ano, sa isang araw, ano ba ang natapos mo doon? Okay ba yung natapos mo? Siguro, sa, let's say, sa building, natapos mo yung paglagay ng, ano, ng mga bintana sa isang araw. Tapos, itinan kung may quality, kung hindi nagkakanda, magkakanda hulog yung mga glasses na nilagay, di ba? So, that is effectiveness and productivity. Next. Uh-huh. Yes, and the next, it is a key aspect of project management and involves skills such as planning, setting goals, and prioritizing for a better performance. So, ayun, yun, huwag natin kakalimutan yung mga uh, key aspect of the project that uh, we need to involve ayun nga sa planning uh, yung goals mo, kung ano ba yung pinaka goals mo sa project plan na yun and prior to that yung better performance ayun, dapat i-make sure mo na uh, maganda yung nakalabasan yung magiging outcome then secure mo na lahat ng uh, step na mo is tuloy yung trabaho mo maganda then maraming uh, ano sa'yo 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 Paano ka sa, uh, like, like, sa school, if you can appreciate it. Yes. You will be appreciated. Yes. And yes. also, magiging mentor ka na, or magiging mentor ka na, or magiging tatanungan ka na nilang kung paano ka nagawa yun. Yes. And also, uh, time is important element in the accomplishment of a project. And as I said, uh, we need to... Uh, Use our time na mahalaga para sa mundo ay so natatapos so wala nang mga uh, iba pang sinasayang. And also, poor management of time will result to delay accomplishment of project or tasks. Ayun nga, sa outcome kasi bago simulan yan, may nakalaang anong, anong, anong date, target, or anong date na patapos. May target date for you. Yes. Kasi kung mga kung, uh, mga business, Ay, 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 ay,
Sir Gosan and Jack Jack Lee said that they are the highest of the Tamil Islands. Delegation of the Gosan Panjil is yeah. Ah, now that I am going to be able to see some land line and all the other things. Yeah, because it is the delegation of the Panjil Islands. Because yeah, they say that more more than one. So let me me agak ka. Kailangan yung yung mga tao. Hindi yung so 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 no no himo. Nagusto mo lang na ka-appreciate ka na ng ano mo. Eh, hindi mo ipala kaya yung ano. So, so you will you will ask as as somebody to help you, you know. No? You didn't really kagaya-gaya boss ka. Pwede mo din i-give to baba. No way in. You can ano kagaya-gaya. Hindi ba dyan na dyan sa iPhone. Or 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 sa iPhone. important thing and the accomplishment of our project is that we will not be able to accomplish our plan. Yes. Kaya marami ako nakikita ko sa mga business na mga pinapatay yung mga gusali hindi natatapos. Tapos sayang yan, effort, time, and also the money. Kasi hindi eh, nila natatapos yun or the delay. Then kung lilipas yung panahon, hindi pa rin may tuloy yun. Yung mga materials kasi pag naulan na naarawan, nagiging marupok nagiging then, marupok uh-huh. yes yes po nagiging masasayang lang and then need na naman gibayin yun para pa may bagong na and then kaya need natin busisihin lagi ang plan natin uh, it also money 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 or finances well we'll resolve the better project implementation thus make sure that it's managed wisely to avoid wastage of material so yun sabi ko nga Ayan, sabi ni ma'am, marami tayong pagpipilian o makahanpas tayo ng mga materials sa iba't ibang uh, company or bilian ng mga materials. Then, kung saan mong gusto mo or makakatipid ka and may quality naman, ayun, dun ka na. Kasi, At saka, in short, no, do not start a project kung kulang ng budget. Tama. Do not Dapat start. Mm-hmm. Oo, okay lang ang kompleto. Yes, lahat-lahat yan ano naka naka di ba sinusulat natin kung magkano ang budget yan magkano so kung kulang yung budget do not start a project yes 
Kasi masasayang ayun. Masasayang lahat. Lahat ng pinagpaguran mo. Lahat, oo. Yes. Ayun, next po. Continue. Next po. And also, number three, effort. The result of an action to achieve your goals. And ito yung pagiging uh, effort mo, dapat pagpagod mo, lahat ng ginawa mo sa palaan na yun, dapat maging, ano, maganda yung outcome. Kasi magiging, uh, magiging disappointment ka sa sarili mo, hindi mo tumatang, hindi mo magiging successful. Kasi pinagpaguran mo. Dupagpawis mo, binigay mo lahat dito. Uh, wala ka ng ibang inisip kundi yung plan. Kaya, if gusto mong uh, nakafocus ka lang doon, then make sure that uh, the outcome will be a positive outcome or magiging good yung outcome, hindi siya negative. And also, you must be persis persistent in pursuing your goal and achieving your desired project. So, dapat mahalin mo rin yung uh, pinaka-project mo or goal mo. Hindi mo lang naman ito ginawa para parang inutos lang nila. Dapat lahat ng, uh, ng sarili mo or lahat ng... Mahalin, mo, mahalin. Yes, mahalin mo to Parang, kumbaga, maganda yung, ano, yung nakikita mo na yung magiging future nito. Kaya, gagalingan ko or magigagandahan ko yung magiging kalabasan nito. Ayun. And also, investing energy also sometimes means in investing strength to do something. Ayun. Uh, minsan, ang dami natin yung nabibigyan. Kumain ka bago, ano, bago gagawa yes. ng trabaho. Di ba? Yes. Busugin mo uh, muna yung sarili mo. Kasi, if you go to your work, tapos, gutom na gutom ka, hindi, hindi matatapos yun. Kailangan, busog ka muna. Yes, para kasi meron ka na effort. Mm -hmm. Yes, kasi pag gutom tayo, hindi tayo makapag-isip ng maayos. Hindi tayo makagalaw ng maayos. Ayun. Kaya dapat oh. energetic tayo din, positive yung uh, sa katawan natin para hindi rin magkasakit. Oh, kasi magkasakit, kung magkasakit ka, hindi wala na, hindi naman ito yung pagkakit mo. Kaya dito din na yan. At sa paan tawag doon? Alam nyo, alam nyo yung ano, Parang sa isang estudyante, pag ang isang estudyante ay pumatok sa school na walang laman ang kanyang dyan, hindi makapag-concentrate yun kasi ang iniisip niya ay yung pagkain sa loob ng bahay nila. Tapos hindi, hindi nakikinig sa, sa teacher, di ba? So, so, magkakaroon siya ng ano, manghihina talaga siya. Tapos pag ano, tanungin ni teacher, bakit masakit ang chan ko? Kasi hindi siya kumain. So, wala siya, effort. Mm -hmm. Kaya make sure makapag-decide, no? Nakakain mm -hmm. tayo. So, lalo na yung breakfast, makamalagay mo. Very important. And uh, also, let's follow strictly what is written in the plan to go away of errors and repetitions. So, uh, need mo, uh, sundin lahat ng nilasag mo sa plan. Huwag kang kukuha ng idea ng iba na. Ganito, huwag na ganyan. Parang yun na ang nakakalagay. Yes. Kasi kung mas nakakalagay, hindi mo na yung makupagod. Kasi mas nakakalagay yung plan. Parang nakakalagay. Kaya pause ka lang. Yung ano, nata natapos mo tapos sisirain mo ulit kasi hindi yung ano. Kasi masisira yung lahat time, effort, 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 in making your project, yun ang sinabi na natin kanina, yung price, and also the quality of the project or the materials. And also materials may include apparatus, equipment, tools, gears, machinery, and other physical resources that are necessary for completing the different process in project management. Ayun, pag sa construction, ang daming ano niyan, mga, ano, mga crane, Ganon, mga semento, mga panghalo, ganon, mga sa mga machinery, mga ginagamit na pang welding, mga panghiwa ng bakal, mga tauan. Ayun, syempre maraming ano, kailangan mong ano yun dyan. Kaya need mo, 
tawag doon ano uh, kailangan eksakto ah yung yung bibili hindi yung kulang yes kasi pag kulang na naman tatakbo o may hinto yung pro- project kasi uh-huh. kulang tapos wala na yung pera no yes hindi siya mabubuo oo oh kailangan alamin alamin ng husto kung tama ba tama ba ito ba ay eksakto na matapos yung building na yan no di ba you have to consider yes. everything kasi yung Kaya, materials uh-huh. napaka-importante yes po kasi diyan makikita yung pinaka-physical or ano yung mabubuo ng plan mo kaya ma- lalo pag pag ano nalimutan mo na bili yung ganitong ano eh importante o di kulang yung ano maano na naman mag-antay yes, na naman na magkaroon ng pera yes po kaya sa project plan ang uh, pinakamalaga diyan din uh, kasi nakikita sa mga businessman hindi lang sila yung nagpapatayo nan marami silang kasama diyan na bumubuo kumbaga share yung mga may mga share kaya ayun kung di mo naman kaya gastos mm-hmm. yung magisa kuha ka ng ano mga kasama mo para may share share kayo para if magkaroon man ng delay or magkaroon man ng pagkukulang may meron kayong investment or may pagkukuhanan kayo ng mga uh, pambili ng materials ayan next po and uh, this part Uh, para na po kay Mamoto to. Ayan, ayun lang po ang part ko. Thank you po. So, hello po. Narinig na po ako. Okay, so for the continuation, the topic is... Ikasi ka pa din? Pero ngayon, pamute po. Thank you. So again, for the continuation of our topic, um, now we are going to discuss the assesses the quality of enhanced product using rubrics and refines product based on assessment made. So what is it? So um, we're going to talk about the rubric. So first, rubrics is very essential. So why is this um, called um, essential? It is because um, it is a good or um, excellent instrument for assessing teamwork or individual contribution to a group projects or just a project itself. So by establishing evaluation criteria, um, rubrics make a peer review uh, easier. So use the rubric to, um, to have students evaluate various uh, drafts with their peers or their parents, guardians. So they can be used um, or this can be used by students as self-evaluation to boost their own learning and performance. So what is rubric? What is the importance of rubric? Why use rubrics and why are the parts of, what are the parts of a rubric? First, what is rubric? It is simply a guide and a tool. So a rubric is a guide um, that helps assesses students' performance, performance by stating what is expected expected of them in an assignment or project. So additionally, it serves as a working guide for students and teachers and a tool for measuring their work. So it, this can be helpful helpful not just with teachers but also to students and to do to the students um guardians that they are helping them since um they're in elementary grades um when students are making projects the one that they help them is their parents so this will be a guide and a tool yeah so next what is the importance of a rubrics So it helps learners, parents, and teachers. It provides students with valuable information and clarify expectations. So rubrics um, and students, parents, and educators in determine um, what constitute, constitutes quality work. So learners um, are able to um, Great evaluate their own work and accept greater responsibility for yeah. the other. Um, so rubric yeah. um, mm-hmm. 
Yes, in the rubrics, it also ano it serves as uh, as a guide for ano students to make their grades. Kasi parang malaman ka agad ng estudyante kung ano ang grado ng kanyang project. Yes. Kailangan maglagay siya ng ng ano ng ng grade niya. Aside from the grade of the teacher, no? It might be uh, the teacher will still make a higher grade for he, for him or lower the grade lower his grade no depende sa sa sinadmit niyang project kasi there's still a need for the teacher to evaluate the project based on rubrics ngayon kung si ano naman si estudyante e eh medyo medyo very humble sa kanyang sarili ang nilagay niya lang grado ay 85 na where in uh, where in the teacher had made ano found out that the project had quality tapos sa bawat rubrics na ano bawat parts ng rubrics no ng project ay chinek ni teacher ay mataas pala ang dapat ibigay ni teacher let's say ang estudyante naglagay ng 83 lang sa isang bahagi tapos si teacher nidagdagan niya ginawa niyang 85 so ano at least ano it will also help the ano the the students or the learners in putting their ano their grades that's one purpose of the ano the rubrics yes yeah, so um rubrics uh to clarify expectation like what mom said so um clarify expectation not just for the uh not just for the teacher but also to the students so rubrics make it simpler for the instructor to explain to the students why they receive a particular grade and parents who collaborate with their children on projects also know exactly what is expected of them for their children So next is why use rubrics. So we need yeah, to use the rubrics way. to evaluate, understand, and improve. improve. So rubrics yeah. help students learn more and produce better final products. Since um, yeah. on the first slide, we said that rubrics is a guide and tool. So it is a guide and tool for teachers and students. And... When the student starts making project, they know or they will be able to see the rubrics. Um, what is the best thing to do for them to improve their projects? Yeah. So, um, when students were given rubrics in advance, they knew they knew what was expected of them and how they will be evaluated, which helped them yeah. prepare accordingly. Yeah. Kasi ano uh, with this ano improvement uh, let's say in the in the parts of the rubric you know that you are ano ay mababa pala yung nakuha ko dun. ano kaya yung mali ko so you have to evaluate again your project bakit kaya binig, binigyan ako ni ma'am ng ano ng ng mababa doon so there is something wrong in your ano then you can ask also your your teacher ma'am bakit mababa po yung ano yung grado ko dun sa ano ngayon si teacher i ano niya yun sasabihin sa iyo then you have to improve no kasi at least ano uh, kasi kung minsan yung yung some of the ano sa some of the students ay ang baba naman yung binigay yung teacher tapos marami nang sinasabi marami nang sinasabi sa likuran ng teacher you have to ask you can ano anyway your ano your uh, teachers are very understanding they can understand what you what 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 you want no so at least in order for you to improve yourself you ask no you ask ma'am bakit po mababa yung nakuha ko pero uh, when asking do not be so harsh or do not be so arrogant kailangan ano yung malumanay laman yung ano yung pag tanong mo kay teacher parang at least ano maganda yung usapan ninyo kasi kung very harsh kayo na magtanong sa teacher ninyo for sure ano hindi kayo papansinin no kasi hindi lahat ang ano ang professors ninyo o ang teachers ninyo ay papareho ang ugali no kasi 
there are times na maka makatagpo kayo ng ano ng masungit ano kayo ang tawag doon hindi niyo maitanong yung gusto ninyong itanong no so in in your ano in your grades in your project you can ask ma'am since na there are rubrics pwede sabihin ni ano ni ma'am na ay ano ganito mali yung paglagay mo sa ano sa ano ng in you in yung botones let's say ano yung project mo ay may may botones tapos yung pagtahi mo doon sa botones ay mali so you have to improve o, ganito yung pagtahi diyan parang at least you know already what is to be improved so yun yun talaga ang ano yun yung why use rubrics for us to evaluate for us to understand and for us to improve our project and ano uh, if your if your project is ano uh, was uh, the if the project was given only a satisfactory grade you can ask your teacher uh, uh, did you get my ano point there yes ma'am oh sige all right so now since we know um what is rubric um, what is the importance of it and why do we use rubrics? Now, let's proceed to what are the parts of rubrics. Since we are a um, future educators, this can be helpful to us since we, um, when we become a teacher in the near future, um, once we um, ask our students to create a project, automatic, automatically we need to provide a rubrics for them. So, rubrics is a scoring guide. Um, uh, rubrics that uh, scoring guide that can be um, used to evaluate a project, a product, or performance. So it has three sections, which is the performance criteria, number two, rating scale, three, yeah. indicators. So here is the example of rubrics. So for, for performance criteria, um, it described the key elements of the learner's Excellent. work or product. As we can see in the picture, um, when creating a rubrics, first we need the criteria. So the students will be able to see and identify what is um, what are the works or what are the um, process that they need to do in order to make the project uh, more um for example, more beautiful when they see, um, when expecting the outcome. So, um, example for the criteria, workmanship and creativity, material use, and procedure. So, rating scale. So, rating scale, it identifies levels of performance. So, this is the um, in the picture here, uh, the excellent, good, fair. So, for excellent, um, it evolves. Uh, evaluate um, equals to um, five points, good for three points, fair for one point. So uh, this will be um, decided by the teacher. But teacher needs to al um, always think what scores yeah. um, need to be. Uh, you have to include also, also, I know, very good there. Because yes. there are the times that you cannot get excellent, but very good is also a part. Kasi fair, good, very good, and excellent. Pwede mong ano, idagdag ang, ano, ang very good dyan. Then you can, ano, you can make the, ano, in the, let's say, in workmanship and creativity. Diba nakalagay dyan? The material is properly put together and neatly done. So, the materials are put together but not so neatly done. So, pwede ka mag-ano dyan sa ano ng isang ano pa ng performance criteria. Parang at least may very good. Yes. No? So, 100%. Tapos 75% yung good mo. It might be 85% naman yung ano mo. Yung ilagay mo dun sa very good, no? Pero okay naman yung ano, yung tatlo lang. Tatlo lang yung inano mo sa ano, performance criteria. But if possible maglagay ng very good kasi there are some students who cannot get ano, edi, ay good lang ako oh, di siyempre ano walang very good oh, kasi if if I am a teacher maglagay ako ng very good para 
at least ano tawag dun. So you have to place also very good parang at least ma ano then you can adjust the ano the the workmanship and creativity then the materials used and the procedure. No? Yes. So okay. um, here in rating scale, um, it depends to the teacher what is the total. It could be 50% yeah. overall or 90% or 100%. So um, indicators, um, this is the indicators. Um, it provides examples or concrete descriptors of the level of performance so um under the excellent good fair there must be the, another must be a grade pa na ano dyan eh yes sa ano ng ano dito let's say excellent five ganun ano ang ano numeric ano uh one ng five ano ang ano ang numeric din ng three yung equivalent na ano let's say 90 90 yung excellent is ano 96 to to 100 Tapos yung, ano, yung good. So, yung fair, andyan na yan sa, ano, 70 to 75 o 70 to 74. No? So, magdagdag ka pa ng isang criteria dun sa, ano, dito sa performance, ano, uh, ano di ba, excellent, 5. Ano ang equivalent ng 5? Lagay mo doon below yeah. oh sige okay so uh, again so this could be uh, found under each sections of the rating scale so this um this example of criteria is just based on the module of uh comes from the uh depth ed for um tle so this is oh. just an example so we have a lot of examples of rubrics that can be used especially when we are yeah. teacher in the elementary grade future teachers yes uh -huh. um sometimes there it can be um rating like stars that yeah. uh, it is um when students got it for for i know for the primary grades you can yes. put stars kasi pag uuwi ang mga bata ay may ano tatlo akong star may lima akong star ganun uh, kasi they cannot understand yung ano yung 90 91 ganun mm -hmm. ah, hindi pero yung grade 4 grade 5 grade 6 maintindihan nila na yan ay anak ko ako ay 95 ay ano galingan ko pa parang ano maabot ko yung excellent oh, yun. no yes so that's so that's it po um constructs pl uh, project plan so now we know how to make an accurate project plan and yeah. how to make um, rubrics uh, because rubrics is important to include on our project plan which is um, can be found on the last page after those plans that we made so yun lang po again thank you so much for listening thank you very much ano the two reporters you explained very well your reports and i really like how you reported today no? so Please, ano, submit me also the, ano, the, the soft copy of your reports, no? Then you can give, ano, an examination. So, uh, I will close our, ano, na, natin for uh, at 2.30, parang at least, ano, uh, both of you can give the, ano, the report. Then, please bring also your, ano, your your uh, table napkins on ano on monday so with the ano with your uh, i uh, on tuesday yung ano yung mga tools and materials needed in making that project so that we can ano we can start our our project so that you can use rubrics later when we will have that we will grade that project all right any question from the topics given then the two reporters on ano on tuesday on our face to face please make the 
the ano ah please make the your devices and then usually send me also uh, send me your report sino ang reporter sa man sa 